Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today we're going to talk about an issue that's probably going to frighten you a little bit, and that's when you have a USB that doesn't work. So I have a USB here, and I'm going to plug it into my computer, and I want you to have a look at the message that pops up. All right, and have a look. Okay, it says you need to format the disk in drive F before you can use it. Do you want to format it? Okay, now this is a USB stick with some data on it already. Okay, so if I clicked format disk, that data is probably going to be unretrievable. So what you want to do is you want to try and find a program that can get data off the USB. Okay, get data off the corrupted USB. Uh, before you format it. So what sort of program is there? Well, there's a few but um, the only well, I guess the free one that I found Okay, because there are some that cost money. So I'm just gonna click cancel first Okay, so the free one that I found is called disk drill disk drill as you can see here disk drill so I'm going to run disk drill and you can see here that it's uh, detected my 14 gig um, USB stick. Okay, that's this one. This is the 14 gig uh, USB stick that's uh, and it's drive F. Okay, drive F that I can't get any data off. Okay, so I'm going to click that and I'm going to click on search for lost data. And then it goes through a scanning process. Okay, so it's scanning for files on this USB that it can recover. And this process probably is going to take uh, 10 minutes, 20 minutes or something like that, depending on how big your USB is and I guess how corrupted the USB is so you can see that immediately it's already found some files which is a really good sign okay so I'd suggest that you wait for it to go through uh, all of the searching process so it's going through 13 minutes it reckons so I'll just let it go through that so as you guys can see, it has found 53 files or 48.1 megabytes. Now, um, this program will allow you to recover 500 megabytes for free. Okay, so if you want to recover more than that, you probably have to pay. But um, if you have important documents, like a Word document or something like that, then uh, it's probably not going to be 500. So let's uh, recover found items or you can review it first if you want to see what they are or you can just click recover all and then you want to choose where you want to recover it. So I've already recovered it once so I'm going to put it in another uh, folder. Let's call it uh, recover 2 or something like that. Oops, click on my desktop. Make a new folder, call it, call it um, recover, oops, two, and just put it in there and click go and see whether it recovers them. Okay, so it's recovery process is actually very quick. Okay, so once it's recovered, um, what I want to talk about is they don't go into the original folders that you had for them. So you're going to have to go through each folder and look for uh, files. Okay, look for files that are in these folders. Now, another thing that you might see is that the files might not be in their um, original name. So you can see here that these files have different names okay but try to open them up and see whether they're the files that you want all right so that is my uh, suggestion on how you can recover 
recover files from a USB. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.